when I, I don't really care about the furniture or the look of the way we do it. I like the, the way we learn. And I'd like to see 6th and 7th graders working together in the same house. I like that we are allowed to like do stuff like project-based learning and we're allowed to like socialize with other grades. I kind of learn at a faster pace than some of my friends and I learn at a slower pace than some of my friends. So that if the normal teacher is going too fast, they can slow down and learn more of what they need and less of what they don't need and already understand. We do project time or a topic that we would like to work on on our own. We set our own goals and we, um, we try to reach them um, in like an essay or a research project that we work on. If you have choice that you, you're able to do what you're interested in while still being productive. I've known a student since he was in about kindergarten and I knew him across three grades um, because I volunteered in the classroom. And so when I saw him in kindergarten, first and second grade, he was a lot to handle. He liked to move and things were never quick enough for him. And so then I saw him in the multi-age classroom and where he got to have more voice and choice and self-directed learning. And it was a completely different child. He was so excited to come up and grab my hand and say, hey, come over and check this out. I've got to show you this thing. I'm writing this essay about transmission. And he just went on and on about the transmission in cars. And I was blown away because this kid knows so much more than I will ever know about cars. This new way of learning with the technology that we have, kids can just go deeper. And they may, they may spend three weeks in one area because that's something that you know they they're just really into and they may not need that much time in say geometry a geometry topic but maybe in algebra it's something that they're they can really see how it applies or it, to an everyday life situation on a more personal note as i walk around my class during the day the thought crosses my mind periodically that at some point in my life i may be laying on a table and look up and see one of my former students putting a stent in my heart. Our students need a foundational skill set that's going to help them solve the problems of the future. And how do we do that? Well, multi-age is one way, which is the real world. That's the kind of environment we want to create. Um, it's going to be personalized learning. It's going to be inquiry based. So they're trying to solve problems. And it's not like we're trying to teach them to become scientists or to become historians or even mathematicians or authors. What we want to teach them is to be critical thinkers. I want these kids to get the best possible learning opportunity and if providing a choice where things are more personalized, um, more customized, where there's more collaboration and we can help emphasize the critical and deeper thinking skills that I think future generations are going to need to succeed. If we can provide that for these students then I'll feel like I've done my job. That's what we're, our goal is here at the middle school is to provide an environment where the kids feel that they have voice in what they're working on and they get to make choices and they get to work on the things they're passionate about and we're guiding them with that and they get to hit all the learning targets through that. It's just that they have a voice in it. You'd have more range of uh, things that you could do. Like I'm working on, I'm bouncing four projects at a time, and I just finished like three of them. So then you would be able to do the other one.